is what I got so far. We'll now have the Home Depot and got some uh, container ship right there for all the stuff. Got the improved horn right there. I took it apart. It turns out it branches out into a T, negative and positive, spanning out of the width from the inside. So about two, in two inches that way, and actually an inch and a half this way, another inch and a half that way. We start slewing and start taking some readings. Okay, I got my outside weather box all built, styrofoam and some painters to to hold the wires in place. It's not organized, but it's a good starting concept. Okay, so I got a surge protector, um, one for the notebook, one for the mount outside and for the USB. And all I gotta do is hit power. Press power, 120 volt AC. And then it's powered to the USB bus right here. And this is for the, um, that's for the uh, HD Air Spy. Next one is the white amp. Next one is for the LNA watch. I'm gonna hit that. Don't know if you can see it or not. There's power, and you can see the light in there. Off, on, off, on. It's it's a powered LNA. Um, it doesn't have a bias T, but it allows to be powered anyway. So there it is. There's power for the notebook, and there's the antenna going out to the LNA antenna dish. There you have it. That's the whole complete setup. I'm running Windows 10, I really hate it because it always crashes on the uh, SDR Sharp. Um, next concept of this, I'll just use my Linux notebook because I like Cubic uh, SDR. Okay, let's power everything off. I'm gonna power off the LNA, power off the amp, power off the HT spy, air spy, and power off that. So that's a good working concept. I think it'll do fine. Okay. USB to the mount, power cord. Uh, I guess I'll just power up. And I got power. Turn on the AD air spy. Turn on the free amp. Turn on power for the LNA, which is all going to this mount here. And all the cables are hooked up. Now I got to power on the mount. All right. There's no slack there for, so that when the mount slews, it doesn't yank on the antenna. Okay, that's the great hunter right there, Ryan. And what I'm doing is I'm watching uh, the, the galaxy plane crossing with my radio telescope. I want to say that correctly. I want to say I'm watching the galaxy plane. Okay, my mount is parked. And that's Orion the Great Hunter over there.
don't know if you can see that or not, but what I'm doing right now, I have my mount parked at, to watch the, how do I say this? My telescope is watching the galaxy plane cross over. That's what I'm doing right now. My mount is not moving and as the Orion passes over, it has the galaxy plane crossing over going to the west. Hard to tell them to see this in this deep snow. And yes, I'm watching the galaxy plane crossover pointing at Orion, but it's parked. 